their handler is buying them new cars. Um, not sure if anyone else has been noticing this lately, but I've been seeing people with not necessarily people, but I've been seeing a lot of individuals pulling up with new vehicles and it's with the sticker in the front so that way you know it's brand new and I've noticed that and when they when they did interact with me it was weird one person kept like putting themselves near me in an odd weird way to where eventually, sooner or later, I'm gonna end up having to tell this person about themselves and what they're doing. But more than likely, that's what they want. So I'm gonna have to do it in a way that works. So I'm gonna have to tell this person about themselves because it's like they're purposely, you know, purposely trying to create a problem. So I'm gonna purposely create one that diffuses the problem. Um, real easy. So I've been I've been noticing that they've been i guess being obedient for being obedient for being who they are to you and to other people that they're getting looked out for and it, it could be their handler doing this or it could just be the organization or whoever they work for or whatever business that they're part of their job just doing better for them doing more for them giving them incentives for being corrupt so you have corrupt people getting good things for doing the wrong thing which is going to perpetuate the corruption it's not going to stop people from doing things they shouldn't be doing doing things that are wrong it's not going to stop people from doing things that they know aren't right but they get in, they get incentives, and here's another thing. Like they they particularly will use whoever they can. I've been noticing people get all types of new things that they feel are able to stress me out or bother me or upset me. They give money to them in front of me like that's supposed to harm me or affect me or bother me and I, I see the I see the theatrics I love it it's entertaining it lets me know that I'm doing everything that I need to be doing it lets me know that I have a very powerful energy on my side and within me and I'm very powerful myself and if you're experiencing these things you are too so these are things to weaken you and to break you down, but we're not going to be weakened or broken down by them. All right, don't don't be upset or, you know, somebody got something new. That's that's good for them. But it's just to it's it's to further just to try to harm you mentally and you just have to you have to not care. You have to not let it get to you. You have to not focus on it. Who cares what they get? Who cares what they do? Who cares that there's a system set in place for them? It, like, who, who cares about all that stuff? You know, it's, I mean, I, I necessarily don't. Um, and I hope you don't either. Uh, your life is amazing just the way it is. Everything's working out for you. Things are, are turning around for you. Things are, are happening for you. You have every good thing that could possibly happen to you coming your way right now. So you're working on yourself in more ways than one. You're about to embark on brand new journeys. A lot of people aren't going to embark on because they're not doing what you're doing. So just keep that in mind. You're doing something for yourself. You're doing something that is going to help you. They can get whatever help they need. They can get whatever they need. All the help that you see them get, all the good things that you see them get, those are the same things that are going to happen to you. You're going to get 
brand new things. You're going to have people come to you and help you out. You're going to have things that randomly, mysteriously come into your life and are good for you. But it does, it, it is a mind F to see people who are not good people get good things or get things for not being a good person. It's like, yo, you're evil, so here you go. So it's, that's okay. And I just, I've noticed that it's always people who will stalk, people who are trying to trigger you, people who are trying to upset you in some kind of way or have upset you or people who they're putting their in position to be a problem to you. They'll put people in position to be a problem to you and they'll support those people just because just because that person bothers you. They'll like they'll like other people and use them not necessarily because they like them, but because they're able to use them and they're able to use them against you and they'll target other people to target you. If they see you have an issue with certain people or certain people you don't like or have a problem with, they'll go to them. Hey, continue, yo, do everything that you're doing plus some more and yo, we will help you. We will assist you. There's all, there's all types of conspiracies that a person could develop on these kinds of things because you, you experience so much. You don't really know if someone is a part of it or not until you make a mistake and find out that that was actually a decent human being. That was actually a decent person, you know? Um, so yeah, give you, give yourself room for error and mistakes. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be divine. All right. And you have to use your divine mind, especially in situations where people are trying to, you know, trying to screw, trying to screw with you. Trying to make you feel, you know, feel the harshness of, of your reality a little bit worse than other people. There's, there are people that observe you, watch you, see you, see how things go for you and try to control that. Because they, they want you to have a different experience. All right, we, we're, not, we're not telling no lies here. <laughs> we're not we're not telling the lies here all right no lies being told here folks so they can they can they can get whatever they want you know they can they can get their trinkets they can get blessed by the devil if they want to they could they could take um their lemons and make lemonade hey they're taking a bad situation and making some good out of it so why not you why not you take a, a bad situation and make some good out of it. How can you make some good out of any situation? This, this, he, he, he disregarding them completely. Just any situation in life. Life gives you lemons. Figure out how to make some lemonade. When life throws you a curveball, don't say, "Oh, that's too fast. I can't catch that." Figure out how to hit it. Figure out how to catch it. Figure out how to swing. Necessarily, excuse me. Life throws you a curveball and you're up to bat. You still, you know, still swing. You you may just hit it and knock it out the park. You don't know unless you do it. All right. You don't know unless you keep going. They may want you to feel like you can't have something. They may want you to feel like you can't accomplish something. They may want to keep rubbing things in your face and making you think negatively about yourself, which will put you in a, 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 a state of not feeling good. People know how people feel during certain times or certain things they're experiencing or going through in life. And they know how to manipulate people to make them make their mood go up or down. You have to not be so easily controlled to where people can do that to you. You have to recognize your strength and your power and your ability to be able to control yourself and not have other people play with you, toy with you, manipulate you and push your buttons so easily. They could buy them people a planet, a, a, a planet if they want to. They could buy them people a ticket to outer space if they want to and back. 
Don't be jealous. Don't be upset. Don't care over somebody's new vehicle. Bless them. When, when you see people who are doing well, don't focus on whatever, however. Just bless them. Yes, you notice these weird things. Yes, this is a pattern. Yes, you see people who are doing you wrong getting getting uh, handouts. Oh, yeah. They're going to rub, rub it all in your face. Be walking around in it, having it. Might even be the same as yours. How they figured out how you got it, I don't know. Some of us are on camera, even when we're not on camera. And our whereabouts, our movements are possibly under some type of surveillance or made for us to feel that way. So they want you to have to endure something that is inexplainable. Something that is hard to believe, not easy to conceive. And that way a person will feel alone and seek being alone after trying to seek help, not knowing, getting rejected, frustrating and upset, upsetting people because there's no way for them to help you. And you just have this ongoing issue and problem with life. They're going to think it's you eventually. Other people getting things because they're evil and wicked have no power over you. And don't you let their false idea of their perceived power have power over you. A bully has no power except the power that he's given by his victim. Which you are not. Don't choose to be a victim. Don't lay down and die. Stand up for yourself. Speak up for yourself. Other people's opinions don't matter. Other people are can think whatever they want. Oh, you don't this, you don't that. Uh, why not just fight? Why not this? Only if you have to. You don't know what uh, other somebody's dad could be the chief of police. They could be. They could go around and fight whoever the hell they want if they want to, and and get out of all the trouble they get into for be for for being involved in it. If, depending on who you are. It, it, it depends on what you got going on. If you're just trying to avoid a whole bunch of nonsense. If you want to just keep enjoying life and, and keep getting getting more blessings and, and not more setbacks. And really look at look look at who's talking to you. They, you don't know what they just got out of. You don't know where they just came from. You don't know what they had to go through as a result of their decision making. Some people just want to see you go through something so they can sit back, point the finger, and laugh at it. Ha ha, he he, is him and not me. So you'll you'll see people do things intentionally, and you'll see people do things intentionally to harm you intentionally to upset you intentionally to frustrate you some type of way forget them 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 who who is that who did what I, what when did that why I, somebody's going to play tricks on your mind i mean why not play on a, a game on your mind that works for you you do me wrong, you don't exist. You do me wrong, I forget you exist. I, for, I even forget what you did. Who? What? Who are you? What? Oh, oh, bless that person. I don't think nothing but good about them. What? Huh? I don't remember that. I only think, I only think nothing but good about them. I only feel nothing but good about them. God bless them. Me worry about that? No. I've got so many positive things I'm focused on. The worry can't simply enter my mind. I'm, I am youthful. Every day and every way I'm getting better and better. And more youthful and youthful. So. Direct your mind. Direct your thoughts. Don't let outward forces be in charge of that. Be in charge of what you think. Be in charge of how you feel. 
all right ignore people who are bad and getting things for it and rubbing them in your face that's what evil evil people get rewards there's a reward system for this thing you know you think they're just being evil for no reason no they're getting things for this they're getting paid for this some of them are getting new cars some of them, get, and they'll they'll give them the things you. That's what that's what I want to talk about. They'll give them the things they see you need. They may have one already. They'll give them a new one. Don't don't let them know which one you want. But all that all that's okay. It's it's just you seeing how much. And how big of a blessing God is about to have for you. It's being prepared. They want to rub things in your face because if, if you can continue on, it's just it's so much that you're going to be able to have access to. You're going to be able to do so much if you keep moving forward, if you keep your faith. If you keep if you keep fighting. You're going to be able to have everything you want, do everything you need to do, have everything you need. All your needs are going to be met. You're going to be able to pay your bills, meet your, you're going to have money to pay your bills and meet your needs and have some to enjoy. Don't let anybody take your mind off of that. You're supposed to be watering your mind, working your mind, thinking in a way that makes you feel good. They want you to feel bad, all right? There's no surprise. You, you feel so good that it upsets the matrix and it sends its entities after you. People with negative spirits, negative energy seeking you out. And another thing, too, is your frequency could be so high that when you're out and about these little systems that they have, because these cameras, you have to keep in mind when you go and shopping, the person is watching you on the security camera. And also there are people who are watching the security camera. And then on top of that, there are people who are watching all of that. People, you know, who have access, it, 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 there's levels to it. People, it, it. The access that people have would blow your mind. But God wants to blow your mind with a bigger blessing. So that's what we're going to focus on. That's just to let you know that, you know, there are things that there are things that people are able to do. There are things that people get contacted to do and they get incentives. And you're, you're going to choose to be unbothered by that. You're going to choose to be unfazed by that. You're going to continue to put one foot forward. Continue to stay on your grind. Continue to keep your head down and keep your eyes on the prize. I don't mean keep your head down in fear or doubt or lack or worry or disgust or shame. I'm talking about keep your focus, keep your 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 head in the game focus. I ain't worried about that that dumb stuff. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Keep my thoughts, my mind, my eyes, everything over here where I'm at, where it's positive. Why even look in the direction? Ain't nothing good. Ain't nothing good coming from over there. Time to be mean. Time to be impolite. They know they, they they know they're not a, a positive person. They know that. Yo, if if, if if they they will I seen the other day and I avoided this person. Like they just did the things that they do. You just have to be unbothered by it because they like they they just do they just do weird stuff. That's what they enjoy doing. I walked into a place thinking, no, this person didn't have anything to do with me, didn't want anything to do with me, and I just you know sometimes when 
you are super TI, all right? I forget what somebody called it, but it's like a super TI or something like that. People move off of your actions. You'll be thinking you about to do something. Somebody's going to move off of your energy and what you're doing, and you're going to feel them on you. You're going to feel this person physically targeting you. This, this, their, their energy's got a lock on your on your frequency they have they are like um on dragon ball z when they had the little radar thing and they could sense your power level oh wait man think i'm not um they can tell who's who or spiritually the spirit on them So, you know, I'm like looking at this person and I'm low key. I'm like, okay, this is one of those types of situations where I'm being followed, you know, just some, some stalking by proxy. This person just decided to see me and just decided that they were going to get out their vehicle and stalk me and haunt my movements and, and follow me while I'm just trying to do my everyday thing. But you have people who live their life like that that's just what they do they find people they say you know what i'm going to follow this person i'm going to stalk this person that's just what they choose to do and it's upsetting and frustrating but you have to choose to not let it get to you and that's what i did and i just let this person do what they were going to do and i totally went and focused on myself and i'm like just even if it was even if it was true i just told myself i'm like man this person's not worried about me so I save my little things. I save my positive things to get my focus back on myself. I'm focused on me. I'm getting what I need to do. And before I could even leave, the same person ends up ironically right in front of me before I go to pay for my things. So at, at that point, I just was like, oh, okay, he's on it. <laughs> you know, and I just, I let him have that. I'm like, yo, you, you, so what? So the what? Who cares? I'm still having fun. Life is good. I got all my subscribers. They love me. They support my channel. They donate to my channel. If you're wondering how you can do that, the link is in the description to my PayPal and my Cash App. So, strange things happen, especially to us and we will continue to live life continue to enjoy life continue to be happy continue to have a smile on your face continue to have patience for people if you can have patience for these devils you will be putting yourself on such a higher level They may even open some doors for you and God will walk through it with you. But when a man's ways please the Lord, even his enemies find ways to be at peace with them. You may find some loopholes. This demon don't even know what they just did. Oh, well, me and God do. Who cares what they get? You have so much more. All that the Father has is yours. You have a divine inheritance. You're a child of the King. You are a child of the King. You are a child of the King. Don't worry about people's uh, uh, undivine, demonically uh, possessions. Don't worry about these these things that that eventually are going to fade and rust and fall apart. Guess what will never fall apart? Your faith. Guess what will never fall apart or or rust? Your your uh, divine inheritance. The fact that you always have access to some good. It'll come to you whenever, however, wherever. And whatever you can conceive, too. Whatever you feel you deserve, that's what's on his way to you. So who cares 
about what other people got. They're trying to take your mind off of your ability to manifest whatever you want. But you can't do it how they're trying to program you to feel. That's the whole, that's the whole, you got to do it with some zeal. That's the whole point behind it. So forget how they want you to feel. Capital F. Fuck how they want you to feel. Fuck that. Shout out to the people in Atlanta. F-U-T. Fuck that. All right. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, the uh, AT aliens. Fuck that. That's what that's what that's the whole. I'm gonna be saying that all year round. Fuck that. I didn't curse. Fuck that. You just you just you just don't know the lingo. All right, the schlingo. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you support my channel, you know what to do. The links to donate are in the description. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and don't forget to subscribe. We got awesome content, awesome videos, more coming soon, more live streams coming soon, more everything coming soon. All right, thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Tune in to win. Peace, love, and light. We out.